My mission with The Mortgage Report is simple, to save you money. I'm here to provide weekly insight into the market so you can make the best buying decision. I want you to know where interest rates are headed, and I promise to let you know my lock or float position. The Mortgage Report starts now. Hey everybody, I'm Bob Johnson, AKA Bob Mortgage, and here's this week's Mortgage Report. In last week's video, I said I was going into the week floating. Mortgage bonds had ended the week strong, and we had a big news week coming up that I felt, for the most part, would be positive for bonds. We got a great start on Tuesday. Mortgage bonds closed up 20 basis points, mostly on the news that home prices rose 1.1% in June and 6.7% year over year. Now let's take a look at what that means from an appreciation standpoint. Your renters out there, pay close attention to this part. How much money do you make on the property you rent? Well, let me help you with that answer. Zero, nada. Now here's what you would make over the next seven years if you bought a $350,000 home, putting 5% down here in the state of Texas. And I'm just using historical appreciation at 3.43%. That $350,000 home will be worth $443,194 in seven years. That's $91,194 after you pay back the closing costs you had to buy the home. So if you're renting, Give me a call and let me customize a home appreciation analysis for you. All right, let's get back to the markets. You can see by my charts, we had a great day on Tuesday and Thursday. We were in the green and mortgage bonds broke above our resistance level of 103.2, the red line. On Friday, we gave some of the gains back on a better than expected jobs report. The market was looking for 178,000 jobs created for the month of July, and it came in at 209,000. That was a 31,000 increase. Now, I do this video update every week, so you know what's going on in the market. It's to help you make decisions as it relates to interest rates, so you know what to expect as you're out there shopping for a home. If you're in the market to buy a home and want to explore loan options and interest rates, give me a call at 214-631-5626 or tweet me at Bob N. Johnson. Another way I try to make the home buying process easier is through my Bob Mortgage Radio Show. You can listen live every Wednesday morning from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Central Standard Time on kvgiradio.com or any of the KVGI Radio mobile apps. We also stream the show live on Facebook. Just search Bob Mortgage. My mission with this show is simple. It's to help you get the best mortgage. Now, I believe there's always a way to, uh, to get approved for a home loan, and I want to help you find it. So what's my position this week on interest rates? I'm going to continue carefully floating. Even though mortgage bonds gave back some of the gains on Friday, we did hold an important resistance level at 103, and we closed Friday at 103.16 basis points. That's not far off from Thursday's gains. Our opening on Monday will be important and provide some insight into the direction mortgage bonds will take this week. So with that said, for the short term, the next one to two day locks and the long term 30 plus day locks, I'm taking a neutral position as I expect the market should stay close to open plus or minus about 25 basis points. Bottom line, Having been a mortgage advisor for the last 20 years, I'm always looking for ways to maximize your tax strategies, lower the amount of interest you pay, and deliver to you the right home loan product at the right price. If you're in the market to purchase a home, or you're even considering a cash out refinance, give me a call at the office. I've done this for 20 years and have been blessed to provide financing to over 25,000 families. I'd love to help you with your home financing options. With Bob Mortgage, your dream home may already be within your reach.